Gee and I are here at Maywood Park Racetrack, where in just an hour, tonight's harness car will begin. Dave is the star of our show and one of harness racing's bright new prospects. Dave, the horses already are warming up on the track. How do you feel about that top flight competition you'll have to face out there tonight? Well, they're tough, but it always makes you feel good when you do well out there against them. And uh, sometimes it can be a disappointment. Well, what about tonight, though? Have you got a winner? Oh, I don't know. It looks tough, but uh, if I come up with a winner, too, I'll be well satisfied. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Good luck tonight, and we'll be premiering the story of he the tracks, standard betting which support Illinois. the elaborate plants, race six nights a week, and have legalized betting with direct revenue to the state of Illinois of tens of millions of dollars. Billy Johnson Jr. owns and operates the prestigious summer meet at Sportsman's Park, where some of the best harness racing in the world is showcased. Billy's a standard bred man, and possibly the most influential figure in Chicago harness racing history. Sportsman's is, of course, the action and the bright lights and the excitement of the city. It's, I think, the best example in the country of nighttime harness racing. Sportsman's Park is like a city. <laughs> there's restaurants, there's people living in the back stretch, there's the cross-section of the whole society comes to Sportsman's Park and mingle and bet, which is what Paramutual is, among themselves. And it's all, everybody's on an equal plane when they go up to that mutual window. Well, Sportsman's Park, everything is laid out on paper. I mean, you can read the lines of the horses. You can prepare for every, you can study every horse and know what they're capable of. It's a lot easier to prepare for a race. At Sportsman's Park, people are there making a living. It's a lot more business-like. Well, the Orange and Blue is a prestigious race. It's a big money race, and it's a big two-year-old race, and it'd be very nice to win. I guess mostly for the prestigious point of it. Every, any kind of race that you win is a great uh, reward, whether it be a small purse or a orange and blue. And uh, when you start, you just hopefully want to work, or my goal was to work up toward uh, an orange and blue or something of that nature. It takes a lot of patience, uh, nerves, have kind of nerves of steel, I would say, because the uh, crowd tends to get on you all the time, or, you know, people are yelling and screaming. And... All the time I'm out there scoring down, I'm watching how the other guys are scoring their horses down to get an idea of who might be leaving out of there to go to the front, or uh, leaving out for position or who might be keeping their horses quiet to take them back at the beginning and come on later. And then as we go to the gate, I'll watch how the horses approach the gate and how the drivers are uh, sitting to uh, try and determine what their moves are going to be. You're always trying to uh, get a little jump on the guy in front of you or behind you. And uh, as they say go, you watch you have your horse kind of prepared to either leave or sit back and uh, you watch to see what the other guys are doing and kind of fit yourself into the situation and then you just kind of comes natural after that. You look for things to happen and uh, kind of have a move in mind for when a situation begins to occur and you only have split seconds to decide. You don't, you can't be thinking about it while you're doing it so you have to be prepared to uh, make a move or make a decision ahead of time. You listen, keep your ears open, and occasionally take a glance and peripheral vision. But basically, you try to hear what's going on behind you.
I'm at a loss for words. I'm very excited. I've been excited for two weeks and nervous and keyed up, and it's just a relief to have it over, and it's just unbelievable that she won. I would have been happy with a fifth. The purse was 164000 so she came out of the race with 82000 And my partner and I are very happy about that, along with our families. I've speculated somewhat as to what I do with the money, but I hate to do that because I don't want to, didn't want to get my hopes up. But uh, we hope to pay off some of the mortgage on our home and uh, <clears throat> just keep racing. Maybe take a little time off now that we can afford it. This will help us coast through the winter, I'm sure. special world, one of tradition and family spirit, and starring an equine athlete of tremendous physical abilities. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is Tom Rivera at the Harness Races at Maywood Park. <laughs>